Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay. In this video, I'm going to show you how I skinned my blue muscle suit. I tried out some new things for this one and it didn't go quite as smoothly as I would have hoped, but it got there in the end. I just wouldn't watch this expecting it to be a detailed tutorial on how to skin a muscle suit, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. For previous muscle suits, I've skinned them by just kind of guesstimating and stretching the fabric over the muscle suit and gluing it. For this one though, I'm hoping to take out some of the guesswork and save some fabric and have it fit a little better. So I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and pattern out the skin and hopefully sew the skin together like a shirt to put on over it and glue it down that way. All right, boys, the whole thing's been covered in plastic wrap and now I'm covering it in masking tape. Got the body covered in masking tape now. It's starting to look like something now that it's all one uniform color. Now I'm going to draw on the seams for where the basically spandex shirt will go on over this. Got a seam around the shoulder here and I just tried to follow the shape of the muscle and then that'll come down to the armpit and I've just drawn a line from the armpit down to the wrist. For the back I know there's going to be a seam up the middle of the back because the zipper's there. I just need to figure out where else there needs to be a seam because the front half has to wrap up and around the back somehow so I'm thinking maybe a seam in here along this back muscle to try to hide it so currently the plan is seams along these back muscles here hopefully it works with just that and the seam up the back but it doesn't Let's go ahead and put some other seams in uh, that way they're on the pattern for later so we're gonna do one along this back and side muscle here so I'm just gonna follow that up from the butt to the armpit and then if I need another one for the front I can do one up under the ribs here and then down around the tum then I don't think we're gonna need one for the neck because I haven't done separate pieces for the necks of other muscle suits but I'm gonna put one there just in case now I'm going to just cut up the arm seams and try to get this off the mannequin I've got the arms and the body cut off and now Gotta figure out how to transfer it to fabric. So I cut the pattern off the muscle suit and folded it in half and then ended up cutting off this piece from the back. So the piece that was cut off was this lower back section right along here that comes up into the armpit. Then the rest of the, the body is going to be all one piece and then the arms are going to be one piece of fabric. We got the patterns transferred to some test fabric and now have that pinned to the suit. Along the front we pinned it down so it's pretty smooth and then wrapped it around the back and then these seams that I cut the pattern out on are sucking in the fabric so that it fits a bit better. There was a little extra when we cut it out just to make sure it would fit. Now hopefully it will fit better once this is tailored to suit. All right, we've sucked in the shirt on all the seams. See, here's how much extra there was all around. And then we took the pins out of the, the rest of the torso to make sure it's laying right without it being pinned in place everywhere. Here's the back. This is where the majority was sucked in. Then to mark where everything needs to be sewn, we've done some sharpie lines. That way everything can be lined up again. So we're going to take this off of here, sew all these seams so everything's a bit smaller, and then put it back on the mannequin to make sure it fits before we take this apart and then do the final pattern on the pink fabric. Got the sleeve taken off and unpinned. Now we're going to use the seam ripper to take this old seam apart so that we can line it back up and sew it back together. And we'll do that for the rest of the suit as well. Okay, we've only seam ripped down to where the it needed sucked in more. The rest we just left sewn together. So now we're going to line this up and pin it again. So basically we're just looking at these horizontal lines on either side and the, the vertical lines as well and just making sure those match. Alright, the seam is pinned so it's ready to be sewn. Here's the settings we're going to be using on the sewing machine. So a, a zigzag stitch with a spacing of two. Then we'll be using a 9014 needle. The sleeve is sewn back together. Now there's all this excess fabric, so we can go ahead and just cut this off. Probably leave like this much for now, like half an inch. Okay, so that sleeve's fitting how we want it. So now that can be done for the rest of the suit. Well, Porgy thinks it's a success. Now we're going to take this off the suit and take it apart so that we can make a pattern for it. Alright, we've got the skin taken apart. Now we're going to cut along all these seams because currently it doesn't have a consistent amount of allowance. 
we're just going to cut that off and then we can add back the seam allowance on the pink fabric. Here's the fabric we're going to be using for the final skin. It's a light pink Milla skin. Basically it's a spandex but it's pretty smooth and has like a, like you can't really see a texture on it. One side has slightly more texture, you can kind of see it there, than the other side. So we're going to be using this side that's slightly less textured. I don't think it's a huge difference, but once it's on the suit and stretched out, it might cause a bunch of lines that would need to be filled in with uh, rubber later, so I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. Yeah, that's the side that we want to be forward facing once it's cut out. So now we're going to lay the pattern bit down on the pink fabric, pin it down, and then we can cut it out. We've got the fabric cut out. See, it's got about half an inch of seam allowance around the edge. Now it can be assembled once again. So we've got the pink skin put together. And now the first step is going to be attaching the wrists. By that I mean we have to attach the skin on top to the shirt underneath. So if you're going to glue this, you would take your top layer of skin and roll it back and then apply the glue over the sleeve and roll this back down. Kind of massage it into the base layer with it while you put a hair dryer over it to speed up the drying or just hold it there till it dries. And then you can continue with the rest, like roll down the rest of the sleeve and then roll it back up while you glue, which will show. For this one, we're going to pin around the cuff and then take it off and sew it so that there's not excess glue that isn't really needed. Normally, if you're going to sew the end of a sleeve, you'd be able to slip it over the end of your sewing machine here after you've taken out this bit. But the cuff we have is a bit too tight, so instead we're just going to slip it under the foot like this and then sew around on the inside. Okay, so we have the sleeves sewed together, so now we're going to make a cuff and you just roll in the excess fabric and line it up with the cuff that is already for the, uh, the shirt underneath. And pin it and then sew it down right over top of your previous stitching. Why are you being in the way? Push are you helping? Push you, what are you doing? Okay, and then final step is to cut out the excess fabric inside. You don't have to worry about this uh, fraying or anything because spandex is really good about not fraying. Then it'll look like this one done. Okay, we've got the cuffs put together, the muzzle suits put back on the mannequin. Now we can take the skin off. For Boo at least, it's not super important that everything's glued all the way down to the forearms here. Because this is going to be covered. So we're going to start the gluing just at the top of that muscle up here. So I already put some pins here so it doesn't move. So then we're just going to turn the skin inside out as we pull it down the arm like this. And then that's good enough. And then we can put the glue down and roll it back up. So the first step is going to be to spray it with the adhesive spray. Uh, I don't want to do too much at once and get it super goopy and want unwieldy. Probably like this much. And then we'll roll it up and then while it's drying, try to massage it into the foam and use a hair dryer to speed up the process so we're not holding it all day. Uh, we're also only trying to get the glue on the foam, not on the fabric. realized we're probably going to need to glue the stomach as we glue the arms. We put it all back on the mannequin, got it roughly fitting where it should go, and we put some pins down around the 
the bottom edge and then a couple right on under the tum there for the section that's on the arms with the holes uh, I've just been putting some glue in there and then kind of massaging it around with my finger while it dries and hitting it with the hair dryer to get these dips. I'm also leaving the inside of the arms unglued because there's no definition there that I want to show off so it'll just be more breathable. Something I didn't really anticipate is while gluing the fabric up the arm um, the slight pulling each time and same with the chest pulling that over caused some extra fabric on the seam and the armpit it's all bunched up I think we're probably maybe gonna end up taking this seam out not sure yet we're gonna take this off the mannequin and look at it and see what the options are so we couldn't really get it to work with sewing the arms to the body uh, trying to suck in the fabric it was just causing a bunch of wrinkles and stuff so we decided we were just gonna take the seam out and then we'll just glue this on and I'll just show you how to do that. Um, I think the plan is going to be we're going to glue the arms down first and then the chest down so that the overlapping fabric seam that there's going to be is facing back into the crease to this little divot here. So hopefully it's hidden a bit more when I shade it and stuff. We've got too much fabric around the armpit and the edge of the shoulder here. So I've got to go out and trim some off so it doesn't wrinkle as much. Here's what the shoulder's looking like currently. It's a little haphazard, but that's okay. I was just trying to trim the fabric as close to the edge of the shoulder as I could. That way I can hide it with this chest fabric when we pull this over. For the chest, I want to split it up into sections. So I'm going to try to do just this triangle here. Just that, that bit in there. And then I'll pull the fabric up and glue it. And then I should be able to roll this back just to that point. And then we can do this all at once. What we're doing, I'm just spraying on some of the spray adhesive just onto the foam. Then I'm trying to quickly pull the fabric up over the foam so it doesn't get any wrinkles. It's kind of hard to avoid sometimes. That's why my wife is helping me. We're trying to pull the wrinkles apart and smooth it down. Then once it feels like it's going to be in a good spot, I'll hit it with a hair dryer and speed up the drying. You can tell it's dry because it's very cold. When it first goes down, when it's not cold anymore, probably dry. If it's warm from the hair dryer, I usually keep holding it and keep my hands on it until it cools down. That way I know the the glue isn't soft anymore and then if you've got the fabric in spots you don't want or you need to peel it back to trim it some you just want to be careful that you're not putting too much heat on other seams or peeling up parts of the fabric that you don't want to peel up Now that we're working on the shoulders, I'm going to be starting to get some glue on the back. We're going to need to tape up the zipper so the zipper doesn't get all goopy. So, turns out the back, one of the back seams isn't going to work either. But that's okay. So the seam was in here and it was like super loose and flooped over this way. So I just cut it and we're just going to pull this 
We're just gonna pull this this way so it sits in between these muscles here. But this seam on the side, this puppy right here, that one's a winner, I hope. And we have the fabric pinned so it's taut on the tum. Um, I'm not gonna glue fabric to fabric around the tum and all these sections on the side. We're just gonna glue back along this, flip that over, and then gonna try to sew along the zipper. Now that it's glued down, we're going to go through and trim some of the excess fabric off of these seams where the fabric's overlapping. The muscle suit has been sitting overnight. It seems to be holding up well. Um, all the holes are still glued in there. I was a little concerned that those would plop out. But now we got to do some work on these seams. Since the original plan doesn't work. If I were to do that again with trying to pattern out the sleeves being sewn to the suit, I'd probably do it like a, a raglan. A raglan sleeve where it would come up this way and not so right here and like come up the neck i think it was better to attempt something new and fail than to not attempt anything new at all and just continue to do the same thing over and over so now i'm going to take the muscle suit off the mannequin and then we'll be able to hopefully sew the fabric down along the zipper then also sew it along the bottom of the shirt here and up around the neck for the skin by the zipper we left some extra fabric and then folded it over and pinned it down now we're going to sew it on the sewing machine the settings on the machine have been changed to uh, zero so it's a straight stitch and then a spacing of three the needle has been changed to a universal needle of a 90 14. this is a zipper foot Then I'll go over that with some baby powder, just so it doesn't stick to itself and cause any unwanted wrinkles. So it was looking like the tum wasn't quite straight after everything was glued on. I don't know if I glued it crooked or if the fabric pulled it in one direction. Either way, you can see it was over here because the Sharpie reactivated and bled through. So, I've seen the previous videos, I heated it up with the hair dryer, lifted all this up. Uh, now I gotta glue it back down. I think the glue is actually reactivated enough that I can just loose it down. Um, so I did that. I'm not sure if it needs more glue or not. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cover this up. Just and now I'm gonna leave it overnight and see if it needs more glue. Uh, we'll probably put some pins on the edge too so it really like cinches it down and holds it there. Looks like the tummy muscles are staying down on their own. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue the skin back down. For the bottom edge of the suit here, we've got it sewn down. And then we're gonna tuck some of this excess fabric and sew along the same stitch and then just cut off whatever's left. It should make it look similar to the cuffs of the sleeves. Gluing down the seams left a bit of a step here where one layer of fabric is glued to the next. And while filling in the seams on the foam, I had an idea about how to fix this gap. And that's with quick seal. I did a test spot. It seems to be holding up okay. So I'm gonna do that up here as well. And to get it kind of smooth, use this plastic spatula thing and mush it towards the seam. Or just wipe my excess off on a paper towel as I go. I 
it looks like it's not settled in there, I'll kind of put the spatula on top and rub it around a little bit. And then try to like feather the edge a little bit on both sides. Take a bit of water on my finger and smooth it out. And that'll need a second layer. But then it'll end up looking a little bit like this. Which then hopefully once that's covered in rubber, it won't be super noticeable. So I'll just leave that to dry. And then once it is, I'll put on another coat. So here the muscle suit is currently with the shoulder seams all filled in. I think it's looking pretty decent. It didn't go exactly how I had planned originally, but I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll have links to everything down below. Follow me on social media if you'd like to see more of my work. In one of the upcoming videos, I'll show you how I coat this in rubber and then paint it. So, look out for that. I'll see you next time.